Hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ Key Economic Concepts. We're talking about the key graphs of macroeconomics. Over here, the most important graph, as you already know, is aggregate demand and aggregate supply. On the axes, you got price level and you got GDP real, real GDP. This gives you price level GDP currently in the economy. Done. Makes sense. Now, over here, something called the Phillips curve. The Phillips curve has been on a lot of tests in the recent past, so you want to learn the concept and understand it completely. So the first step is to figure out what are the axes. So this one is price level, this one's different, this one's gonna be inflation, and the x-axis is gonna be un, yeah, yeah, unemployment, not employment, but unemployment. Now what you're gonna find out is there's a negative relationship, right, between inflation and unemployment. Let's make sure that makes sense first. Over here, let's call this combination A. Combination A, let's increase aggregate demand, right? Right, right now, and so let's put our point right here, combination A, somewhere there's a certain amount of inflation, a certain, a certain amount of unemployment. Right, when aggregate demand shifts to the right, right, let's find out what happens to inflation. Well, price level increases, so when price level goes up, that means we have more inflation. At the same time, the quantity increases. More quantity means that we have lower unemployment, right? More people working, lower unemployment. Okay. So that means we were here, a certain amount of inflation, unemployment was right there. Now we're in a new combination with more inflation, but less unemployment, and we get some new combination, let's call that point B. The idea is there's this curve called the short run Phillips curve. Short run Phillips curve looks something like that, downward sloping curve, that's the concept. Inflation, unemployment, easy. Time for a bonus round. Right, we need to look at the long run aggregate supply which is this one, long run aggregate supply, and something called the long run Phillips curve. Now, at combination A, you'd assume this thing called the long run Phillips curve is gonna run right to the same point, which it does. That's a concept. Now, to put simply, this is the natural rate of unemployment. Let's say 5% unemployment, that's what happens in our economy over time at full employment, 5%, right? If we have anything more, we have a recessionary gap. If we have anything less, we have an inflationary gap. That's the concept. Now, you can tell just by looking at, oh, okay, if combination A, combination B, it all makes sense. But don't forget what you knew before. How do we get a long-run aggregate supply curve? Well, combination A, combination B, now we have an inflationary gap. Now, because of inflation, workers are like, hey, I need a raise. I want to raise, and resource prices increase over time in the long run, and that means aggregate supply will shift to the left. We went A, B, and now we're at a new point called C. That same concept is right here, right? Same concept is right here. How do I know? Well, the short run ag Phillips curve, when aggregate supply shifts to the left, now we're going to have uh, higher prices, right? Higher inflation and lower unemployment because firms are producing less, right? If that makes sense, the only way to get higher prices and lower unemployment is for this whole curve to shift. Short run Phillips curve looks like that and the curve shifts over to a new point, point C, right? A, B, C, A, B, C, same concepts. The idea of the short run Phillips curve staying the same is exactly the same idea as a full employment, long run aggregate supply curve staying the same as well, right? In our economy, full employment is the vertical line. That's where we're gonna stay. At the certain amount of unemployment relative to inflation, it's gonna stay right there. Hopefully that makes sense. Till next time.